that never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was bombed to be chewed when the gales of November came earthy. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As big freighters go, it was bigger than most with the crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple steel firms when they left fully loaded for Cleveland. Spell rang. Could it be the north winds they'd been feeling? The winds and the wires made a tattletale sound, and a wave broke over the railing, and every man knew as the captain did too, twas the witch of November come stealing. The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait when the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came it was freezing rain, in the face of a hurricane, a west wind. When supper time came, the old cook came on deck, saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed ya. At 7 p.m. it grew dark, it was then he said, Oh, fellas, it's been good to know ya. The captain wired in, he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. Later that night, when his lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. us knows where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours. The searchers all say they'd made Whitefish Bay if they'd put fifteen more miles behind her. They might have split up or they might have capsized. They may have broke deep and took water. And all that remains is the faces and the of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Lake Huron rolls, Superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion. Like a young man's dream, her islands and bays are for sportsmen. And further below Lake Ontario, takes in what Lake Erie can send her. And the iron boats go as the mariners all know, with gales of November remember. Sailor's Cathedral. The 
church bell chimed till it rang twenty-nine times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chilwong town of Big Lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake is said never her gifts of her dead when the scales of November come early.